thanks for tuning in to Chester Baptist Bible Fellowship lesson for December 17th. Today we're going to look into Jesus's genealogy. I think it's interesting because both Luke and Matthew have different genealogies for Jesus. It's believed that Matthew looked back through Jesus's father, Joseph's side, while Luke went through Mary to find his relatives, and that's why they're a little different. The verse I'll be referencing today is Matthew 1, 1 through 11, and instead of reading through the whole list, I have highlighted a few people that I want to talk about and say why they were important. First, we have Abraham, as in Father Abraham, whose descendants were as numerous as the stars. Then we have Isaac, who stole the birthrights from Esau, his brother. Next, we have Jacob, who was renamed Israel after wrestling with God himself. Then Israel's son, Judah, who founded one of the 12 tribes of Israel. Then his son, Judah, who founded one of the 12 tribes of Israel. Rahab is also on this list because she hid Israelite spies in Jericho. Next, Rahab's son, Boaz, who married Ruth from the book of the Bible, Ruth. <laughs> I skip a chunk of time, but then we come to David and Bathsheba and their son, Solomon, one of the wisest men who ever lived. After Solomon comes many kings, including Hezekiah and Josiah. Skipping ahead again, we get to Joseph, Jesus' earthly father. Jesus has so many relatives, and there were so many different kinds of people among them. Some of these people included prostitutes, murderers, people who worshipped other gods, one who physically wrestled with God, and some who didn't fulfill family obligations, which was a big deal. Jesus also had a lot of fantastic relatives who did fantastic things like building a temple, protecting their siblings, showing great loyalty, and more. No matter what they did, they all played a role in history and shaping the foundations of our faith. Just like Jesus, we have good and bad influences in our family. The bad doesn't need to define who we are, and we can look towards those good influences to help guide us. Jesus was on this earth and went through the same things we go through, and we can seek his guidance through prayer. Please pray with me. Heavenly Father, thank you for the opportunity to learn more about you. Help us to better see the good and become the good while serving you.